Rejoil 4.2 has been in beta for 3 weeks and a new beta is being released every week. Since the start of the beta phase, they fixed a number of bugs reported by the community, so they are publishing further beta snapshots to validate those fixes and iterate closer to the release candidate stage. So, today we'll be checking out this new beta 4 of the Jod 4 2. Let's start. Okay, so as you can see, this new beta has been released. Here we can see some information that I was telling you in the introduction. For example, the first beta released three weeks ago, a new beta a snapshot being released every week. So, well, as you can see, we are now in beta 4. So, how many more betas we are gonna have before the official release? Considering that, for example, um, we've had six dev snapshots uh, in the um, in this same version in the 4.2 and if we continue scrolling down a little bit also for example we can see here that in the Jode 4.1 we we have had uh, three betas and then we had the first release candidate as you can see then we had three release candidates and the official version okay of course then this version was updated with some release candidates some maintenance rates etc and then well we have a joke for two but what i want to state here and say is that well here we have beta 4 so this probably means that we may have one more beta which would be beta 5 and then maybe one more beta which would be beta 6 uh, because for example here we also have six dev snapshots and for example taking a look at good for one we have three dev snapshots as you can see sorry four uh, dev snapshots and we have three betas so as you can see the number of dev snapshots is quite similar to the amount of betas before the release candidate okay so this means that here in Gujot for two we have six dev snapshots and here we currently have four this means that probably within beta five or six then we should be having the first release candidate of Gujot for two once everything is correct let's take a look at the post also here we can see some information that i said in the introduction and well, also very important, this fourth beta snapshot fixes the number of regressions around rendering and the handling of mesh compression upgrades, compatibility issues with the refactor particle system and exporting projects to Android. As you can see, mostly everything related to small fixes. Of course, because this one are, is a beta, sorry. And well, the actual interesting, let's say, amount of new features was released on beta 1 as you may remember introducing uh, regions in the code introducing the possibility to color our folders everything like that so if you know nothing about that i will be leaving right here on the top right a video to a, a link to that video i mean so you can check it out and also in the description okay so now let's jump to the downloads as you can see i believe it was since the last beta that they changed a little bit this menu quite more intuitive now easy to download so let's uh, in this case i'm in windows so i'm gonna download here the standard version for windows super super fast as always so here i'm just gonna double click it we have the application and we also have the console so i'm gonna be opening the application okay and i'm gonna be creating a new o I close it let's open it again so I'm gonna be creating here a new game so I'm gonna be calling it uh, for to uh, beta 4 create folder and create and edit so some errors that are still happening are this one for example that as you can see as soon as we create a project and we zoom in and out the green light right here starts like glitching so a way of fixing it is just moving a little bit around the camera and now as you can see doesn't happen again we also have here the error in the output it, it actually it's not a, an error it's a warning and um, it's it's not like it's gonna affect the project in some way but it's just a little bit annoying you know as soon as you create a project you get a warning i don't know and um, but well everything besides that 
uh, it's looking good as always. So in order to iterate now how everything is working, let me just here create a node. And then here I'm gonna be adding one sprite. And I'm gonna quick load the icon of Goodjot, right the, like this. Move it right here, then I'm gonna duplicate it one time and then a third time and move them like this to make like a sequence. Perfect. And this node, I'm gonna rename it to main. I'm gonna save this scene. Then I'm gonna create a, an empty a script and I'm gonna be explaining some things here. Firstly, the code regions. As I told you, I have a complete video about these new features. So I'm gonna just be going quick. To create a region, you just put the slash, uh, the, um, the hashtag, sorry, and you type here region, then the name of the region, in this case I'm gonna name it process, and then you put um, in other line where you want to close this region, other hashtag and end region, like this. Okay, as you can see, this icon will appear, and here you are gonna be able to actually write any code you want, and it's gonna be inside our region, okay? Other way of creating these regions, you can create here a, the ready function. You can select all the code you want inside your region, click Alt F, okay? And as you can see, well, I haven't created the code region, I don't know why. Uh, ready, pass, because as you can see, if we select everything and here we can create, uh, sorry, it was Alt R, Alt R. But as you can see here, something from my graphic card appears. That's why I can create it with the shortcut. So my only way of creating a region without actually having to type it myself would be to just click here, create code region. Okay. So that's incredible. I can, for example, here rename it ready and everything is working just fine. Then all the colors, as you can see here, the folded colors, this icon right here color can be easily modified in my editor settings. We can scroll down a little bit here in the text editor theme. We can modify here at the bottom folded code region, code folding color. We have a bunch of things that we can easily modify. I went over all these options in the previous video and also here about the comment markers. So I really encourage you to watch one of the previous video, link in the description down below. Then in order to try out if, if, if everything is working just fine, let me grab here my first sprite and I'm going to be changing the modulate of it to, for example, uh, red. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's just leave. Uh, that um, that color I don't really care. So now I'm gonna press here a uh, play, select current, and my first icon should be like in a kind of purple or something like that. Okay, everything is working fine. Once we have checked that, I'm gonna delete all the region about the ready function, and in my process delta, I'm gonna check if I'm pressing the one. Uh, is key pressed one? I'm gonna change my first icon color to red, for example, okay? Then if I'm pressing the two, let's actually try to copy and paste this line two more times, okay? And we are gonna modify them a little bit. So if I press in the two, I want to modify my second sprite, which is this one, uh, to yellow, for example. Then if I'm pressing the three, I wanna modify my third icon to be, for example, blue. Okay, pretty easy and understandable code, right? So let's just click here, play. And we can press one, two, three, and everything works just fine. Then I'm also gonna be trying out the web editor. In the last beta release, I wasn't able to actually uh, open a project. I was able to like create one, but I wasn't able to actually load into one. So let's create here a new project. Uh, create folder, create and edit, and let's wait here a couple of seconds to realize, to see actually if it can load or not. Again, I can't get into a project. I don't know why, man. It's so annoying. So, well, uh, the developers will have to solve this, of course, because it wasn't only this beta 4, it was also in beta 3 that I couldn't try the web editor. So, okay, let's just see how this continues. 
and let me know if the comments if you have tried the web editor and if it worked in your device, in your browser, in your own home, okay? Okay, so this is all for today's video. As you can see, the version uh, 4.2 official is very close to us. So make sure to subscribe to the channel because as soon as that version is released, I'm gonna be uploading a new YouTube video. So come on, be the first one on knowing that. Subscribe to the channel in order to do so. Remember to watch the last video about uh, all the changes that, that this beta uh, includes. For example, uh, the possibility of creating code regions. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.